Sheldon, we kept talking about resiliency throughout these playoffs. Is that uh, the prime example of your club being resilient? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it, not unlike game two in the Rochester series, you know, when we're down. Uh, that, that case, obviously, it's the third period. But um, I liked our first period, frankly. Um, we made one mistake. Uh, that ended up in our net uh, at even strength there. And then we uh, got, you know, we're on the wrong side of a couple calls in the first period. They score one on the power play. But uh, in terms of, you know, how we controlled the play and the time we spent in their end, it was one of our better periods of the series in that sense. So we were just encouraging the group to stay with it and not get discouraged. Um, felt if we could score the next goal and make things real interesting. And, and that's exactly what happened. And once we got going, we were hard to stop. What does happen in the second period that opens things up? Uh, by every line, so it was, you know, two, three, four shifts in a row. We carried play, we got that team on the heels, and uh, they can't get off the ice this time here. And, and we just, you know, just took advantage of those opportunities. So that was, it was pretty fun to watch that. This is what I told you the second period. I mean, you're sitting on the bench, and the players are going out and they're executing, they're playing, they're working, they're taking the game back. Uh, so it was fun to watch that. Those are those are the yeah, type of efforts you yeah, yeah, play yeah, that you remember. You know, long okay. long, you remember coming back from that yeah. nothing deficit uh, game two in Rochester that you know was such a major swing in the series. And then, you know, uh, today they you know, come in, they got a lot of confidence early, and you have to come and get that back. So it's really good to see. Trevor Morris saying that there's no sense of panic after guys were down. There's nothing. There's several reasons. Show one that was only seven minutes in the game. But I like it. I would imagine this group, you don't really see a sense of panic. No, we don't. And you know, I, I think now we're up three nothing in the series, so we, we have a lot of reasons to panic. But um, but you also, I don't keep saying don't open that door. It, it, that's exactly it. But that's why I mean, as a coaching staff, our message after the first period was that we actually had a good period. We're fine. No reason to no reason to change anything or worry. We just got to go out and keep playing. And we felt confident if we could just continue with the type of time uh, spent in their end, uh, we'd, like we did in the first, that it would it would break them down, it would wear them down, and we would get our chances to score the next goal. We just wanted to score the next goal. You know, if they get up three, it's, it's tough sledding, but um, get the next goal was big, and then we got a power play, so it's a, it was, you know, it's strange. We score our first goal, very similar to the way they score theirs, and we get a power play goal on a tip, just like they do, and, it, and then all of a sudden it's a new hockey game, and our guys got going after that, and, uh, I can say that's that's fun to watch. Those are the, those are the great moments you remember through a playoffs. It's just the experience now coming through for a club that many people didn't think would be in this spot in the middle of May. There's some of that at play for sure, but uh, at the same time, you, know, you talk about our experience. But I think you, you know you look at our defense, and we might be the least experienced defense that you've ever seen this uh, this uh, this time of the playoffs. So um, I think it's it's a combination of experience and hunger. Um, and just our group uh, group cohesion. The group wants to compete and wants to get better. We're backed by strong goaltending that gives us a lot of confidence. And so a lot of things have fallen into place for us, you know, to, to be, you know, now the, the, the first team waiting uh, waiting in, uh, for the conference finals. You're saying this morning be a bonus now to have that rest. Uh, so what do you do with it now? It's quite a quite a period that you'll have off. You just sort of, you know, keep your eyes sharp. And you want to give them time off. Yeah. Last year, I understand as well. But. That is a balance, but yeah, we do have uh, last year as a as a model. Um, so we'll 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 look into that and, and make some decisions. We've got we're going to travel home here now through the night. So you know tomorrow is pretty much a write off as it is. So we'll give them a second day off, and then you know we'll get back together on Saturday. And, and uh, you know we we may or may not know what's happening in the next series by then. But um, you know we'll we'll take some time to let our guys heal up and we do have some guys that are playing pretty banged up and that'll hopefully uh, settle itself down and then we'll, you know, we'll get back to work next week and then we'll get, get out on the road.